Hi, I'm Ella and I'm the Plants Meow and welcome to my channel. So today I'm actually going to be talking about where have I been? Wow, this cat eats my hair. So this is actually Nina and she actually has this crazy habit of just chewing on my hair. If I'm just sitting on the couch, she'll come up behind me and just start gnawing at it. Like intensely and hard. <laughs> and in a way I kind of find it endearing and cute, although painful. <laughs> so you probably have been asking for a while, where have I been? I have various reasons why I've been away and before I release any more content, I just want to kind of talk about the reasons why, just so there's not this kind of dis disconnect of, oh, like she hasn't been here for a few months and now she's randomly back just making videos. It's like, what happened there? And really, <laughs> and really quickly, I just wanted to disclose before we started this video, the sign that I had back here, no, I did not pay hundreds of dollars for it. Initially, when I was thinking of a setup for this room, for some reason, I just really wanted a neon sign. And initially, I didn't think I'd be able to get one because they go for like $600 pretty much at minimum. But I ended up finding someone on Etsy who made these signs, so it was around 100 bucks. So don't think I'm crazy for having a neon sign. I promise it just wasn't an exorbitant price and I thought it was pretty reasonable for the product that I received. I'm gonna be very open and honest with you in this video and I'm going to be touching on topics that make people, for the most part, uncomfortable. So if you don't want to feel various emotions, I suggest skipping this one. <laughs> so in this particular video, not only will we be talking about why I have been away, but actually what I want for my channel going forward and the goals that I have and I want to share with you. And I apologize if this camera isn't like perfectly set on screen, I'm still trying to figure out where I want it placed, so it's hard to kind of get me in the center with this sign here, so I don't want to block it, but also I don't want to be on this half of the screen, because it looks weird. I mean, when I'm doing like certain videos where I have to pop on the screen, it'll be fine, but hopefully this is okay for now. <laughs> so before we really get into anything, um, and the particular reasons why of me being away, I want to give you some backstory. So when I started my YouTube channel last year, it was <laughs> a very, very impulsive decision on my end. I really had absolutely no goals for it. I didn't really have a vision for it. Up until that point, one of my cats had been battling kidney disease and, and this precious boy was named Ramsey. He was pretty much like, I don't like to play favorites. Like I think it's really messed up to pick favorites, obviously, but at this point, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. He was my favorite cat, my favorite cat I've ever had. Pretty much as far as like companions go, my best friend. And it wasn't something I was ready to deal with because he was only at the time he had, he was five, he was only five years old and it was so sudden. Like I literally took him to the vet to get a follow-up shot and express my concern for him being skinny, even though he ate a ton, which never was a big deal to me, but I just kind of haphazardly mentioned it and she suggested getting blood work. And what the blood work showed is he had kidney disease. So for months after that, we pretty much took him to the vet every week, if not twice a week, and he would have to get various checkups and fluids and eventually it got to the point where I also had to give him fluids at home. So I was giving him fluids, I believe it was twice a day. I would have to hook up his IV bag and then he was also having trouble swallowing pills. So I would actually have to give him injections with a needle directly into them, him and that was probably six times a day. And so after a few months, he wasn't getting better and the other reason for him not getting better was because every time we gave him fluids, which here's the question, <laughs> here's the catch 22, he would lose protein in his body. So we couldn't treat the protein loss deficiency because the medication for that would actually inhibit 
would actually mess with his kidney function. So he was already in kidney failure. There's no way we could treat the protein loss. Um, he was not going to make it. Sorry. Man, you know, like, the amount of times I've rehearsed talking about this to myself for the past year, like, over the past year to tell you guys, like, I would think that I could just get through it, but it's just, like, still difficult. <laughs> Um, literally the week he passed is pretty much the first week I put up my YouTube video. I was not willing to prepare for the loss. Yeah, I was not prepared to deal with the loss, so I needed a distraction. And at that point, plants had become a gigantic distraction for me. While I could put all this care into Ramsey and it would do nothing or it would hurt him, I could put all this care into plants and they would thrive and they would grow and they would be healthy. So it was an amazing outlet for me. I really, really just sunk myself into the world of plants. And then YouTube was an additional distraction because I could also experience this growing world of plants with you guys and additionally be so distracted by the amount of time that went into editing and video recording and thinking of ideas. So with my two jobs and on top of my plant care and my YouTube videos, my time was pretty much filled up. Like I didn't have time to really think about him. I didn't have those silent moments that would be dreadful. And even so I would still cry every day but at least it wouldn't be all day <laughs> so um yeah so fast forward me many months many months later to where i have to where my youtube channel is doing pretty well um uh, i'm starting to falter a bit because i'm really wanting more time to myself than i had been giving and realizing that I had not coped at all with Ramsey's death and I knew I needed time. So my videos became less and less, eventually got to the point where I did take that break and that is, and that is only one of the reasons for the break, but it is probably the one that was most important to me at the time. But I also have different reasons for staying away. <laughs> when it comes to Ramsey, I don't feel like I've still given myself the proper, like, really thought about it because it's such a deep wound that it really, like, it's very difficult for me to even, like, comprehend that it even happened. I feel like my mind at times likes to pretend he's hiding in the basement or, you know, what have you. I'm sorry for getting so emotional. I really was trying not to be like this. But um, I do want to thank you guys for being so wonderful. Throughout my YouTube journey, you have all been so kind to me. And that is, that was wonderful in a time that was really dark and lonely for me. And I really want to thank you. Thank you so much. Like, I don't think I could express enough um, how genuinely wonderful you have all been and have made me feel. Every time I upload a video, I've always, I'm always so nervous. And then I read the comments and it just makes me feel so, so good, so wonderful, and so happy to be a part of this community. So thank you so much. But um, another reason that I had wanted to be away is because there has been this growing stigma there has been this growing stigma and shame in collecting expensive plants and I've um I don't know I think and this is probably not something I felt particularly on YouTube but I've definitely felt it like in the Facebook community where people kind of like shame people for being able to collect certain plants and it was something that was making me 
increasingly uncomfortable. And then I was also worried about, even though my channel is not particularly huge, it doesn't really matter if I show a plant, obviously that demand for a plant is going to increase, which could lead to possible consequences such as poaching plants or stealing plants. And I never ever want anyone to collect plants in an unethical means. I, that was, that's not something I ever, ever want to contribute to. So I always urge anyone who goes into collecting plants, and this is probably something I'm going to be saying in every video, but please practice ethical sourcing. Make sure that the people you are buying from have practiced ethical sourcing because we don't want to be those people that take cuttings or take plants from people. If you don't own a plant, it doesn't belong to you. You don't have any right to it. And one of the last reasons that I decided to go away was because I, I really wanted to reevaluate my love of plants from the eye of social media because I feel like a lot of people think, oh, they're only buying plants so that they can show them off. Like, they don't really care about these plants. They don't really want these plants. They just want to show off, get likes, get views, all that jazz. And to me, that's another thing that I thought was weird because why would you want to do that? Like, it just made me feel weird. So I got to the point where I was like, I want to take myself away from social media and see how that kind of changes my perceptions of certain plants I own, if it even does, and see if that is a contributing factor. And there are definitely plants that I've never ever posted on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram that I own, but that I don't want to show because I don't want people to think that I have them just for the views or the likes. And I feel weird about the possibility of showing them off now because of that. And I love them just as much, if not more. So I, I don't, so for me, that's obviously not the reason I have these plants. I, it's actually one of the reasons I found it really difficult to come back to YouTube. I was really, really enjoying the solidarity with my plants, not even showing them off, just me and all of them and loving them. I feel very confident that if I show a plant to you guys, it's not because I care what anyone thinks about it. It's just genuinely because I love the plant. And I want you to know that I want this to be a safe place for us to observe plants, love plants, just really get to know them and talk about them and not have to feel like we're flexing a plant, which I'm going to make a whole video about this because someone actually mentioned this in, my, in one of my videos saying how I talk about having plants, but then I don't show them. But then plant, and <laughs> he mentioned that plant people like to flex their plants. And that was the dumbest comment I think I've ever heard in my life. Are you kidding? Like even to use the word flex with plants is just gross in my opinion. But I'm gonna make a whole video about that because that's the funniest thing in the world to me. And we'll just, we'll just talk about it. <laughs> but yeah, so one of my takeaways from being away is my love for my plants is big and it's beautiful. And social media or not, that's not gonna change how I feel about them. You're not gonna be with me every single way for every single plant I have. You know, I have them because they bring genuine joy to me. If you're not collecting plants because they bring joy to you, you're probably doing it for the wrong reasons. And you shouldn't do it because you think it's a Pokemon card. You know, this isn't just collecting to collect, that you should genuinely enjoy. So now I really wanna talk about why I've stayed away from YouTube. So I've given you various reasons for wanting to take my break. And now I'm gonna to talk to you about why I just made it so difficult to come back. One of the reasons is I wanted to figure out if people would come back for me or were just coming back for the plants. Would it really matter if I went away? Um, I don't know because um, with my channel, I think a lot of the times you didn't really get to know me because I didn't want to be an influencer because this is a channel predominantly about plants. And I felt like, and I felt shame in talking about anything personal in my life because I felt like 
being a plant influencer was just not something I wanted and it was just I was just here for that. But then I did realize during my break that the people that I watch most and connect with most on YouTube are people that do talk about themselves, that I can connect to, that are expressive, and you just, you really get to love them that much more because you realize how human they are. And I want that connection with my viewers. I want them to connect to me. I want to connect with them. And I felt it was really not doing justice for my channel by only kind of flat face talking about something and never really talking about anything else. So actually being away, I got so many messages and so many comments from people talking about how much they miss me and my content and it made me feel really good and <laughs> felt like um, that people would miss me if I was gone. And I do have a place in the community to talk to you guys and I feel like I have a right to talk to you guys about things that well, I want to talk to you about mostly plant related things. I feel like I should be able to talk to you about other things and not feel like stifled or wrong for saying anything personal. I feel like, I feel like that's important and it's it's kind of the beauty of a channel. Like I know this, this sounds super cheesy, but you get to like fall in love with people and get to enjoy people and their personalities. Like I love, love, love watching people when they're themselves, when they're the most themselves, when they're not just talking about some product or something, but when they're really, really there to talk to you and to get closer to you. And it feels, I don't know, it's nice. I think that's the one of the great things about social media because it creates social connections, you know? I want to create that social connection. I don't want to just be kind of a tutorial video. While, yes, I still value tutorial videos, absolutely, and I will still definitely be doing them, I don't know. I feel like I can just be, I can, I need to relax. Like, just relax. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but I feel like I've just always gone in front of the camera and just put on a face and really, I, like, you can see me slip through every now and then, but it hasn't been, like, 100% completely. And I don't know. I think that's something that'll really benefit me. will feel more comfortable. And I hope that's something that you guys would enjoy. So other reasons I've been away are actually some physical and um, other mental pains. So one of the biggest contributing factors to that, I was actually, I know this is TMI guys, but I was taking the Depovera shot for as, and if you don't know, it's a type of birth control. And one of the main side effects of that is bone density loss, which I know sounds crazy, but every birth control has insane side effects, which really sucks and there's not a good option personally. But yeah, so I thought that I wouldn't start feeling anything like that for a long time. They say don't take it more than two years. I had only taken it about nine months and a good like the latter half of those months, I was in a lot of pain. I was feeling so anxious, so depressed. I, every time, anytime I would hurt myself, the injury would like remain. <laughs> like I, I am very prone to stubbing my toes. I stubbed my toe once and my toe literally felt like my toe just hurt. It hurt every time I walked for months and then when I was watering my plants, both my arms, I had to actually switch arms to water, but they felt like they were injured. Like the muscles, like it just felt injured throughout my whole arm. And then it started spreading to this arm. It was, it was freaking insane. As soon as I stopped my depo shot, I think about a month after that, everything went away physically. <laughs> so Mentally, and I actually looked this up, apparently if you're already feeling depressed or anxious, getting off the depot is just gonna heighten those emotions because what Depo does is it stops the production of estrogen and when you get off of it, you are pretty much slammed hard with that reproduction wave of, est of estrogen. So yeah, that made it worse. I had also ended up leaving my second job which was I was a billing manager at an eye company where I filed health insurance claims and I decided, and that was actually my side job. So I left that one because I thought 
you know what, I need time. I need time to kind of reset mentally. So I stopped YouTube. I left that second job. Um, I still had my primary job where I work for my family's trim carpentry business and I do the accounting. And I've also been selling plants on the side. So I have a little bit of a plant shop. <laughs> I know that's kind of random. So with those two things, so I was still busy, but I felt like I had probably way more, I felt like I had way more time, but I still was not time managing great. So it hasn't felt like I progressed that much in that area. So mentally I've been not in a great place. You know, I think with everything happening in the world, this is Juliet, by the way. <laughs> I know you've probably never seen her. She usually hides, but she, she loves this area. So you'll probably see her way more. <laughs> so the first thing I wanted to do was really just kind of relax. I still can't quite get myself there for some reason. And I thought meditating would help, but I just haven't made time to do that. And I'm just in this funk, which is really difficult, but I feel like making videos again will give me more structure. So I'm definitely gonna be creating more of a schedule for myself. So that mug's ruined. That's my water, okay. So while I haven't found the time to meditate, one of the things that I actually have done is just become more physically active. So while it's become really hard for me to just kind of make time to relax, I found that if you just kind of throw yourself in doing a physical activity, like just make yourself go do it, it's something that can make you feel really good. So what Chris did was actually cleaned out one of the finished areas in the basement and we set up some exercise equipment down there. So every day for the past three weeks I have been exercising and I feel super proud of myself because I honestly, I have never ever been a fit person. I describe myself as a sloth, like that's just my spirit kind of animal thing. I don't know, it just makes me feel really good and I have a specific time that I stick to. So when you give yourself that kind of structure and you kind of get yourself in that headspace, it's kind of a form of meditation. So that has been really great for me. And that's something that I want to do pretty much for the rest of my life. It's something that's already really helped me significantly. You know, it's gave me enough motivation to record this video while I'm still kind of a mental hot mess. Um, I'm definitely like getting in a better spot where I feel like I'm, I'm feeling better, like so much better. And I feel like it, it can only get better the more I do it. And something that um, is strange, but that I have had is I've been getting, the thought of recording has made me more anxious. Like the thought of being in front of the camera has made me feel more insecure lately. So that's definitely like just another reason I've just stayed away from the camera. Like, I know, I sound like a hot mess. I'm sorry, I know. <laughs> you know, I'm only human and I've, I feel like I'm making progress. It doesn't take a lot, like, to, it doesn't take a lot to get me down at all. That's the part that still kind of, still really annoys me is that it's very easy, like one word, anything, um, can put me in a bad headspace. But I feel like with my exercising and then my goal to start meditating, that it's gonna feel so, it's just gonna feel, every day is gonna get better and better. And honestly, just making these videos again, I already feel better just sitting down and recording this. It's been so difficult just to make myself do it, but doing it feels great. Like this feels really good right now. I think cause I'm able to just like organically talk to the camera. I don't know, there's no goals behind it. There's just, I'm trying to structure this, structure this video the best that I can. So I'm sorry if it's all over the place, but yeah, I'm feeling better. Like I feel good right now. Don't like, don't feel sad or anything. I don't want anyone coming away from this video feeling really sad and down. I want people to come away from this knowing that there are things you can do in your life to structure it and to make you feel better about it again. Like I love so many things. Like I, I love my plants, obviously. I love my six cats. I love Chris. Chris is the love of my life. 
my parents are wonderful, my brother is wonderful, my sister is wonderful. I'm so grateful for all those things and everyone. Honestly, just even saying that out loud makes me feel so good. And I feel like we don't talk to ourselves out loud enough because obviously it probably makes us look crazy. But if you just think about those things and just say it out loud, it just makes you feel so much better. I think that's one of the things that I'm really looking forward to meditation because I did take a class before where we did meditate. It's just all about those positive thoughts. And I'm really looking forward to actually carving out some time and doing that every day, just like I'm doing the exercising. Just one more thing that I can structure myself to do that feels really good. So now I want to talk about what I am looking for <laughs> to get out of this channel going forward. So one of the things that was really important to me coming back is to set up an atmosphere where I can just go and record and that felt really calm and good. So before I would just kind of record anywhere, obviously because this was a spur of the moment decision to record and I never really thought about setting up space. Also, I never really had space. This right here is actually a closet and a window that I covered with a curtain. So I made space where there was none. <laughs> it's not a real room, <laughs> but uh, it works great, right? It looks, I think it looks great. I'm proud of it. And let me know what you think of the light. I'm curious if you think it's too much. Like, I know there's a way to tone down the light, but it like flashes in the camera, so I was actually hoping to turn it down, but see like that, like I feel like that already, the color looks better, but it's like flashing and it doesn't flash in real life, so I don't really know, I guess it's just interfering with the camera, which sucks, but put it back to 100. Watch I'll be in editing and it didn't flash at all, but it probably did because yeah, that's my luck. But yeah, so this is definitely a space that I wanted. I got my squishable poo sheen for those moments that I want to squish or just have a stuffed cat, because why not? I've got Poison Ivy Bishuju figure. So I have a ton of Poison Ivy figures. If you, obviously I've never really talked about this on my channel, but I'm a gigantic Poison Ivy fan. I have every single comic book that she's been in, including her first appearance, which to me was a big deal, but I found, like I've looked at eBay lately and it doesn't go for nearly price it used to go for. I don't know why, because she's an awesome character, but look how cute this figure is. I love the Kojibukiya line of figures. Like they're just so nice. And the Bishuju ones are just really cute. Like they're really adorable. They're really like, well done. I have a ton of figures. And this is just one of the ones I picked because I thought it was adorable. So yeah, it was so hard to pick though because I, I really, really love them. Like all of them. Like I could put all of them in the video, but I'm trying to be tasteful here where I'm just not a crazy person. <laughs> Got my neon cat my some of my crystals and this pink princess the goal for this area was definitely to have a plant and i decided to go pink princess because i already had some pink tones in here so i thought it'd be really cute put her in a light pink pot and just kind of like watch her grow and she actually has a window right here literally behind the sign like i said so when i'm done editing this video i'll just pull back the curtain and she'll get her light and it's just a choice spot and i'm also on this pink chair so that's cool i feel like it ties the area together i love how big it is it just like it just like wraps like hugs around me and it feels really comfortable it's nice so yeah besides this atmosphere another thing i wanted was just to be more open and honest like i had just discussed in this video it's so important to me that i just kind of that i communicate with you guys more and i'm not like holding back who i am as a person because I feel like for my mental sake, it's super important that I really just be me, which I'm still myself in my videos. It's just, I'm, nothing crazy is gonna happen like or insane. I just won't like stop myself from talking about something if I wanna talk about it. It's pretty much what it's gonna be. But I'm certainly still gonna have videos that are very structured because I do believe a nice tutorial video is very, very nice and warranted. Yeah. No one likes a blabbing video, honestly, unless like you're already like 
expecting that. I also just want to be more engaging with my followers. So one of the things, and this is definitely something that is just a mental thing for me, but people will comment on my videos. I will read all those comments. I will enjoy all those comments, but I won't reply to them. And I always tell myself it's because I don't have enough time. But in reality, I could, I probably do have the time there's just something that stops me from like communicating. Like, I don't know if I just, I don't know. It's just that insecure part of me again, that I just feel like, do they really want to talk to me? It's just a weird, weird thing that is in my head. And I just got to like ignore that and talk to everyone because if you're talking to me, it's because you want to talk to me. Like, I don't really know why in my brain it's, there's a disconnect there. <laughs> I would also love to ask more questions or just your opinions on certain topics. So I think one of the most important things going forward is to really open up a healthy dialogue about plants between my followers and with my followers. So I want, I want to talk to you. I want you guys to talk to each other. I think if I just make my videos somehow more engaging by kind of asking more things out of people, it'll just make it a nice little community on this channel. And that's what I really want. Like I don't want my comment section to just be like, this hollow area I never respond to. That's not what I want at all. I want to be more engaging. That's something that I'm just going to sit down and make myself do. And when I say make myself, it's not a burden at all. I genuinely enjoy responding to comments and I just don't know why I think if I respond that, I don't know. I think the part that's always kind of threw me off is when I respond to comments and no one responds back to me because I'm just like, like, did you really want to talk to me or what? <laughs> I don't know. But a lot of things. So hopefully all wonderful and good things. Please let me know any feedback that you have for me. I hope this video wasn't too rambly. I hope it wasn't too... I don't know. I hope you like my setup. I put a lot of thought into what was on the table. <laughs> but like cute things, right? I don't know. I hope you like it. I like it. <laughs> I think it feels nice. Again, let me know what you think of that. That's important. Do you like hate the light? Do you think it's too bright? How do I get it to stop flashing in the camera? Bunch of that jazz. And um, I should also mention that I have started filming my houseplant tour. I know I've told you guys so many times I'm going to be putting it out, I'm going to be putting it out, and I haven't. It was supposed to be a summer houseplant tour. It's going to be a fall houseplant tour. That video should be out next week, so I'm going to be trying to do videos back on the regular again, so every week. I haven't figured out what day. I, I know I used to do Wednesdays, and I'm thinking of switching it up to Thursdays or Fridays, but I'm not 100% sure yet. All about that time management. I'm really bad. I'm really bad at that. Also, I want to talk about my dishwasher because that thing broke down before COVID like, started. And I've learned the art uh, and the love of hand washing dishes. I have, and it's not like I didn't do it at all before, but um, if you don't do it for a few days, God, that kitchen, that kitchen's a mess. This is, this is another reason I want a recording area. I just don't wanna, <laughs> it's so hard to <laughs> hand wash dishes. Yeah, I'm being a brat. Honestly, I have no problem. I don't know why I'm going off on a tangent about hand washing dishes because when I when I get myself to do it, I have a rhythm and it like feels good and it gets done. And it's actually better than a dishwasher because dishwasher, you have to wait for that to fill up before you run it. And then you have to like unload all of these dishes where like if you just consistently hand wash dishes, it's super easy and it's actually a better system. But God, I don't know why. I don't know. I just need to set a schedule on my phone as well. I need like a planner. Does anyone know like a good... No. See, every time I buy a planner, it doesn't work out either. All right, if I keep talking, I'm just gonna talk forever. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I really hope you like this new setup. And thank you so much for watching. And if you want to see more content, please subscribe. This will... You can have this all the time including my, including me me, and the, the setup I have here.
We're a package deal now. Straight package. Yeah. Okay, thanks. 